you with your crown, mace, and discus, glowing everywhere as a mass of light, hard to discern, dazzling on all sides with the radiance of the flaming fire and sun, incomparable. Kirita means crown, and Kiriti means one who wears a crown. Arjun sees the supreme soul with his crown, mace, and discus. Not only that, but the supreme soul is glowing everywhere in all four directions as a mass of light. Light is of a lot of importance in the visual book, the universal form. You see each and every verse that light gets a lot of importance. Us Indians have been worshippers of the light from the beginning. And in reality, light is a form of the supreme soul. There is another mantra in the Bhagavad Gita that says, Asata ma sat kamaya, tamasa ma jati gamaya, rupi ma amrita gamaya. From ignorance, lead us to truth. From darkness, lead us to light. From death, lead us to immortality. The Supreme Soul is the form of light. Arjun said that the Supreme Soul is dazzling on all sides with the radiance of the flaming flower, fire and sun. If a fire is a light or if the sun has risen, then it is so much light. In the same way, the Lord was dazzling on all sides with the radiance of the flaming fire and sun. The brightness of the Lord was like fire and the sun. Arjun then said that the Lord is hard to discern because he could not see the Lord. The Supreme Soul was hidden. Then Arjun said that the Supreme Soul is incomparable. This is because the Supreme Soul cannot be measured. This can be interpreted in two ways. Arjun uses the words Bashami, Samantad, and Apranamya. This can be interpreted in two ways. The first is Samantad, Apranamya, Bashami, and the second is Apranamya, Samantad, Bashami. Samantad means in all directions. Therefore, it can be interpreted as either that Arjun is seeing the Supreme Soul, who cannot be measured, or Arjun is seeing on all sides that which cannot be measured. We should understand this in both ways. Arjun says, Kiriti Naam, crown, Gavi Naam, mace, and Jakri Naam, discuss, and then use the word Ja. Because Arjun used the word Ja, means etc., the other items that the Supreme Soul holds, such as the Shank, the Punch, and the Padma, the Lotus, are suggested. We get think from this that when Arjun saw the Vishnu, the universal form, then this was the great form of Lord Vishnu. This must have been the great form of Lord Vishnu, because when the latter verses come, then we see that, Lord, can I see your four-armed human form? Then the Lord once again came into his two-armed form. The Shri Krishna who is an incarnation, who is Dvaraka Dish, the Prince of Dvaraka, and who is Vajna, the Lord of Raj, has two arms. But over here, Arjun must have seen the four-armed form of Lord Vishnu. This is what great saints described. Apanemyam means immeasurable. He who is immeasurable on all sides is someone but Apanemyam, immeasurable on all sides. Who can measure the Supreme Soul's qualities, power, effectiveness, and um, quantity? Whenever we measure them, then the limits will come there. The Supreme Soul has no limits, and the Supreme Soul is unlimited. That is why the Supreme Soul is immeasurable. You cannot measure anything of the Lord in any way. How can you even measure the world? Can you measure the Supreme Soul's wisdom? No. You cannot even measure the wisdom of the world. There was a great saint, and two to four peoples were walking with him. One people asked that, Great saint, you have so much wisdom, wherever we sit with you and listen to discourses, then we feel as if there is so much to know about it, and that we did not know about it up until now. Every time you say something, there are so many doors of wisdom open for us. You are so wise. It was a season of autumn, and the great soul lifted up some dead leaves that were on the floor. The great saint then told his peoples, How many leaves are in my hands? But people said that there must be two to four leaves in your hands. Then the great saint said that we are passing through the jungle right now, and how many leaves must there be in the jungle right now? The people said that there must be a lot. The great saint said that there is even more wisdom than the number of leaves falling in this jungle, and what I'm telling you is like the leaves in my hands. There is an endless amount of wisdom. That is why Arjun says that the Supreme Soul is Apramanyam, immeasurable. Apanemyam can also mean something that you cannot describe with proof. This is Apanemyam. We can describe the Supreme Soul and we can give logical proof, but what types of proofs are these? There are indirect proofs. A flower has an odor inside it. If you make the statement that the flower has a beautiful smell, and the person in front of you questions you and says that, no, we are not prepared to believe this, prove this to us, then what proof can you give them? You can pick up a flower, give it to them, and tell them to smell it. Then ask them if where the smell came from the flower, and they'll say, yes, it did. They have understood because the smell came to them. In this matter, you had a direct proof, and you told them to see the direct proof. You called them to smell it with their noses. You gave them a handkerchief, and they accepted matter. But can there be a direct proof of the fact that God exists? 
Can you give a direct proof in the same way that you give a proof that this flower has a nice smell? No, you cannot give it. And that is why the supreme soul is upwanemiyam, immeasurable. All the proofs that are there are all indirect. This is a very big limit in the scriptures. That is why the description of God in the scriptures is neti, 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 neti. Not this, not that, not this, not that. The supreme soul is upwanemiyam, immeasurable, and summoned God on all sides. Verse 18.